Hello again and welcome to another Taylor's Principle tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you a bit of bots. Bots are basically um, yeah, those white ghosts and so on. Um, like those messengers in the real game which walk around your level and um, do actions like pick up a cube and do stuff. So um, this is actually not a hard process and I'll show you this. Um, yeah. So uh, in the first part I show you how we make an any object in the game we want usable so we can uh, with the mouse go over it and it says use and if we use it we call function over a Lua script and then in the second part um, I go, I'm going to show you how to link this with um, the bot to tell him uh, how to spawn and uh, I yeah, made a little level addition over here you see we uh, actually added in the last tutorial this um, plasma barrier and um, over here I created this um, yeah, additional boom, and um, in that I made a little parkour for a bot, which can spawn over here, walk to here, take the cube, put it on this plasma wall, and then it should walk to here, and here it should despawn. So this is my plan. Okay, let's first do make that with the um, with the uh, object, which is make usable. First, um, to do this, we need a static model, um, simple models, which you in um, insert in your game by pressing the insert key on your keyboard actually do not work because they are just yeah simple models and they cannot control via scripts so you need to grab a static model outside of the um, uh, outside of the entity list so if we drag this in it's actually looking the same having almost the same parameters it has a controlled by script or from script um, slot and you need to set this to game scripting because then we can control this via a script model is but uh, this is all the same uh, we take any model and I have an angel statue over here which I put in here and uh, I want to click on that angel statue so we need a script which controls that so let's grab out a script let's put this over here press E to edit it and we write the script inside and um, first we're gonna write statue and hold control alt and shift and drag this onto the word to link double point enable not enable analyzing double point enable usage and this basically enables for us the usage I can show you if we go into game it says use nice but if I click nothing will happen so now we tell the script to wait till it's used so we're gonna use wait for an event called um, statue dot used and then we can print uh, statue used no statue used in the um, in the uh, terminal if I press now here statue used okay um, so um, now uh, we can combine this and I really like uh, sounds so um, let me grab a static sound over here put this in the face of that angel and make sure those flags are set to not looping and not L to play and then we can hook this up to game scripting again the sound is I take just this button press like this and then we go into script white over here sound link that variable again with control R shift double point play once and then it will play you see, I press here, you heard the sound, I did, and it fires the event. Okay, so with that, um, we tell now our bot managers to uh, basically spawn. So here begins the body part of the game. Um, first, um, you need a player bot manager. This is the controller of it's all you needed. So um, we're going to take the... Um, player bot manager entity over here and drag this in your level and this is looking like an M and uh, for an M for manager and over here you ha can basically set a set of um, uh, NPCs you have in your level we've got a model NPCs and expandable NPCs I think they're from Sirius Sam I don't know them from Talos uh, a ghost NPC is um, actually one of those messengers and big heads are um, those from the developer island. Okay, 
let's uh, create a ghost NPC so over here we can expand it and add in player bot param and um, let's go over here go on browse and under content tailors databases puppets and player bots we actually have um, entity params for the white ghost, the recorded ghost, the common ghost common auto test bot, black ghost and auto test bot so let's take the white ghost and you see inside here if you make your own bot you can actually put in here the character ID and this is uh, we need for spawning the character name which is currently the shepherd and the version the gender I don't know where this is used the model and um, personality params this is I used in serious Sam I think like fighting style strafing style and um, common player bot params are um, for example which uh, type it is uh, how to um, the ba behavior is and uh, moving params which animation is used to uh, move this basically so if you take the uh, pre did one you actually don't need this and this is all for the start um, now we did an NPC start marker because uh, or no NPC spawn marker sorry this is the marker where the NPC spawns so let's put this in here and you see it has a funky yellow color and um, this is actually we can now name this and I would recommend to name this so let's name these uh, um, I don't know let's name this uh, foo NPC and now you see it's called foo NPC and um, we're gonna use the use appear effect over here and um, then we can spawn it let's do this we go to the script and over here we're gonna type in uh, botman and we need to link that variable to the bot manager botman double point spawn and you see we've got spawn uh, big hat NPC spawn expandable NPC spawn ghost NPC and immortal NPC we spawn a ghost NPC because we said that and then we need the identifier which is the character ID we saw in the manager it was white ghost and then the marker I say marker. Need to link that marker to, and this is the spawn marker. So control R shift, drag this onto the marker one, and it's done. Now let's go into a level, use the statue, and there he is. There is our bot. He is currently static in our world and not doing much. And hi, bro. He's yellow and I'm white. Do you have something to eat for this evening or ah shut up. Just making crap, but um <laughs> you can actually really have fun with those bots. Um okay. So let me save because I experienced a crash the last time I recorded this and um yeah, not that helpful. So the first thing is we have this um parkour for it. So um I'm gonna introduce it to the third part of entities we need the bot take action path marker or not no, not the bot a take action path marker the bot take action marker this is the marker which basically leads the bot through a level and um, so let's put this over here and this is the marker and um, first you reset the take action flex to solve puzzle because this is actually uh, this making the um, the the um the marker to the marker which is uh for tailors and um then um we have it and uh, now we need to link it so under this is the spawn marker under default take action markers we're gonna hit plus and over here we're gonna hold control and alt and click on that and you see it automatically renamed from I think it was just a bot take action marker zero zero one or something. It was named to foo NPC zero 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 because this is the first with ID zero 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 linked to the foo NPC spawner. Okay, and now it's linked. So uh, changing the color will also change the color over here as you see because they're linked. Okay, so actually if we now go in game, it will uh, not there here it will if we spawn spawn not at the spawn marker but it will spawn at the spawn uh, at the first take action marker and now it has set no action so it will simply stand there till we exit the game so let's say to him uh, bot marker actions 
plus. And here you see all the actions uh, he can do. He can look at something, he can shoot at an entity, he can use take entity, he can use a weapon, he can wait, he can disappear, appear, open a door, he can do everything. So let's first do look at something. And the look at type could be uh, look at entity, look around, look at multiple entities. I want to look at me like a stalker. So look at player actors. And then over here, look at actors of type and closest player because we have no NPC. And then when he stops looking is when the timer expires, which is currently set to one second. So let's put this up to five seconds. Okay. Now let's spawn the NPC and you see he follows us, he looks at us everywhere till 5 seconds are done and now you see those 5 seconds are done because he stopped okay let's uh... we could now add and disappear so after here uh... do disappear with effect and what this does it basically leads us uh... following where we are and then he disappears but that's not what we want so let's remove this okay now I want that he basically takes up this um, kind of cube puts it on here goes to here and then disappears so let's add that um, we're gonna click on the plus here and y uh, use the use take entity and um, under the use take entity uh, the entity we want to use is the cube. So control alt and click on the cube. Okay. That should work fine now. Let's test it out. I am spawning this one. He's following my view position. And uh, then he's saying, fuck off, I'm going to take the cube. And then he walks against the wall because we not set him to do anything then. So let's now give him the option to put it on that pressure plate. So we're going to click on the plus and type in um, deploy or drop object and deploy it on the entity pressure plate. Okay, let's do this. He's looking at my position. Then he says, I'm not doing this. Puts it on there. And then he walks again against the wall because he has no, no instructions to do now. So what to do now? basically just um, he should go over here and then disappear so let's say first and then um, we are gonna add another action marker uh, which I move over here because if you want him to move somewhere you need another action marker for this let's link this again over here with the spawn marker say default take action path, mar path markers and set that one to here is also let's take this to solve puzzle and if we now change the color it changes the color here too his link cause he's named uh, foo npc 001 and we're gonna take over here an action um, we gonna basically can wait on marker for around 0 0.5 seconds and then do disappear with effect and then it's all now we just need to set that this one uh, has the next marker so we set over here next marker control alt and click on that marker so he knows after I finished all the tasks over here tasks I need to go here okay let's try this out I'm just saving so much because I just do not want that crashes I need to do everything again okay let's spawn it taking five seconds to look at me going there takes the cube going there goes there disappears. And that's probably all. So I think uh, it's pretty uh, easy for you to add more actions because the system is very open and you see for example if you have uh, I don't know jam entity you can um, see here the jam entity so the entity you want to jam and um, the deploy on entity where he, st where he basically puts the, uh, the jammer. But this requires you that you actually um, picked up with take up and jammer first and then this is the entity you want to jam and deploy on would be if you de want to deploy this uh, on a pressure plate or something there's also a function for connecting lasers which is also pretty easy 
um, you over here you send as you can see all those functions again and you see connect entities and over here you can put two entities in the world and link them over here and if he takes up a rod so you basically need take up rod then connect entities and drop the rod or put it on the ground and then it will automatically work fine as I don't know as something which works fine so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well and um, pretty easy and uh, yeah I hope this was great for you and see you in the next tutorial bye